what up it's your boy tv here so i i wanted to start doing like some story of my um my journey as being a wrestling fan is one too though because i just had this little idea on one spirit era two as well too so here and there do some story time so i wanted to i had this in my mind today i want to talk about the one time the story the story one time where i um almost was one of the times I uh, want I was ready to quit, ready to quit being a wrestling fan over a faction, and you probably be wondering why out of all faction this faction will make you uh, want to quit wrestling though. But it's not exactly the faction itself, but it's just what surrounded by the faction at the time as well too. So this is one time that I'm gonna talk my. Sh this is. It's kind of like, because one day I feel like talking about shit, I just had to express myself on this one time. So, during the um, pandemic era of, rust, of wrestling, though, a one it was one faction that uh, got started. It wasn't the blood at the time. We was already dealing with uh, Roman Reigns and the bloodline, the tribe of Queef and the bloodline at the time, though, as well, too. It wasn't as much. It was just, I think it was just mainly uh, the tribe of Queef, Roman, Queef, Roman, and... Um, and Jay and Paul Heyman at the time. I don't think Jimmy hasn't joined yet. I think he may, maybe he have. I think. Either way, around the time that was the that was already stemming from Roman doing the heel thing and everything. It was already a mess already with wrestling fans as well too. At the time, I was like really about to give him. I was going to give Roman a pass as a um because he'd been through a lot from getting booed as a face and then the old leukemia thing. But I'm gonna like, we'll tell you about the nation. I'm just gonna keep it as that. I'm not gonna say the full name of the group though, but I'm gonna call them a nation domination group in a way. But not really nation, they just say show love for all this group. It's made for showing love and support for black wrestling though, was I do respect though, just fortunately not many folks in that group, but you know, it's like, you know, the rest of the groups are as respectable just the or some people that's like the fans or whatever is just um, we'll say it's not all. You know, like I say, I have a, a crew, a crew of friends. Call them the faces of nation because we had a little fashion work going on as well too, and everything. Because it's like a lot of the group, a lot of the faction where folks was like lay the hill like faction as well too, including a lay group called Laser the Hills and Hills. Shout out to them as well too. You know, all Kevin Sadi seen more faces than some of the guys other faction that claim the faces like another group. Um, a group I will not discuss who's been a thorn in my uh, side or anything, but anyway, shout out to Face of Nation, Age of Honorable Re Revolution. What well, was going to do, but same some of the folks in that group kind of ruined it. But anyway, going back, I was going to give Roman a pass or anything, but folks was trying to call me hillish for doing it and all that. And and then Roman, then Roman was done do that dumb and knowledge to me, shit, and then only winning by cheating and all that. So I was like, fuck this, anyway. Moving on, a new fashion got started and everything, and that was the BCC. The, the BCC at the time as well, too. Um, uh, not BCC, Hurt Business. Started out with first uh, Bobby Lashley, MVP, and Shelton Benjamin as well, too, though. So, yeah. The Hurt Business uh, almost made me quit being a wrestling fan. And not exactly the Hurt Business. I kind of switched this for like screenshot one, but not exactly the hurt business though. The group, the faction itself was cool. It's just unfortunately there was a hill faction and everything. Well, yeah, I know me. I'm really gung ho and not room for the bad guy villains, aka hills as well too. But sadly, with that, it gave it gave um it it it, it seemed like a few to some of the guys I. Like, was that gave me shit for only root for the faces and and good guys only few to find a way to villainize me as well too because I'm gonna root for them. First was that them three in as well too. I didn't want to root for them, but they was folks who trying to get on me. It was on my case about a room room. And then when Cedric Alexander turned and everything, um, I was I was just still not being part of it. Did some dickhead dude, some dickhead Indian guy. I mean, nothing against Indians or anything, or guys of Hindu was trying to hit me with the Cardi B uh, gift. What the, what's the raisin gift? Uh, and I almost can't look at the same because of that fucker. Um, just get make, give me shit for not um, cause his cause Cedric wife was uh at the time uh, what's Cedric Alexander wife name again? Um, 
Jay used to be on AEW. Um, Swole, Big Swole was giving props for doing it though as well too, but of course her a wife's gonna support her husband no matter what he do, you know, whether he's a face it here that wife's gonna support regardless though. So that's why I I, I like okay I understand that, but I'm still gonna stick my gun and not root for a bag of ability. And then he tried to turn around on me. And not just that nation that had the problem with me, it was this other group as well too that BWO group I told you about the black the, the fake NWO black NWO group as well too because I was part of multiple groups was giving me shit for it. It was another group as well too wrestling with family ever was giving me shit for that and excuse for not rooting for them nor rooting for nor showing love for what was it uh it's not Sandy what's it called um what's the what's the group that uh Mustafa T Bar Mustafa was part of um. T Bar, um, W E, what was the group that he's part of? Um not Sandy. What's the fuck that name was? Retribution, there is ready too, cause they they gave me shit for that as well too. They folks are just try and turn find a way to villainize me for not root for them because they had a reason for being healed, but I'm just sticking to it, but because of that, between BWO was villain on me at one point saying, because I didn't like how they, the Hurt Benz was jumping folks backstage all the time or picking on folks backstage, especially folks of other, other colors. They trying, they trying, they was trying to say if I let, if I got mad at Hulk, them, I would get, if I get mad at them by them jump, Hulk Hogan he jump backstage, I get mad and that make me hellish because this time, you know, they, nobody, in, mostly the black folks in the group don't like Hulk Hogan because of the whole, um, racial controversy known as well too and then like and then between that group the nation group giving me shit trying to find ways to villainize me I almost did not want to be a wrestling fan anymore like I it was like the Hurt Business this whole, whole thing was so stressful to me that I didn't want to be a wrestling fan again it wasn't because of the faction itself it was because of the it was because of fucking Fit, fucking folks in some of these wrestling groups as well too. That's when me and wrestling groups really started to go downhill right there. It's, it's kind of started already right with the Roman Reigns because they was some of the same groups in there was on his dick like crazy talking about and, and, some, and funny about it. Remember I told you one time the same folks. They was the same folks that was booing him as a phase was all on his dick as a hill one and old, and every po every week they say, did you know you try to treat for no? Uh, Queef and all this shit, you know what I'm saying, or make it like anybody don't don't know the trial Queef is a red flag and shit like that. It was just fucking ridiculous, and like it was just headache and stressful being in wrestling groups after for a good while, especially and then by especially wrestling groups of my own people. You know what I mean, and the thing about it, the reason why it's on harm because I guess I get that they want they on the uh, Easter Ray uh, Oscar uh, quote. I I I I vote for everybody black. I get that, but it's but just I I'll do too. But I'm still gonna respect my own code of not root for the bad guy and villain because that's my code i don't want to make any wrong idea about me that i i represent black uh bad guys and villains in hills as well too that's 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 me i don't care if it ain't that serious that's just my personal thing and people i just wish people respected and not deflected you know what i'm saying but so that people just keep on doing it know what i mean so Sadly, um, almost one is sadly. I hate and and the reason why I'm thinking this up because at first lady they gonna have her business back again, but fortunately they're not gonna be what I want them to be, which is anti-hero black black heroes. Now I mean, instead they're gonna make them black villains again though, because because it sucks that we can't get nominated black faction as black as heroes. We always gotta get them as villains, man. Like we did with Nation of Domination. And some other ones as well too. Almost did with New Day at first, but let little look at the um, have fun and guy. But it's like the one time we get to have black fashion, they gotta be you know something that most black folks like. They call them in the Mitchell show, like Tree Prophet and and New Day. They think they too you know shucking and driving and stuff, and it's not the case. They just like to have fun. It's like black folks not allowed to smile, have fun, like I'm saying, because I and then you know and then it was like kind of a, a bad a, a big thing with uh, what was saying Apollo Cruz Apollo. Cruz, we did the old Nigerian thing, and folks was like giving other folks shit for not rooting for him because he represented his country and all that as well too. So yeah, um, a lot of it's a lot. That's why I like I've been slowly not want to fuck with wrestling groups, and now why I don't fuck with wrestling groups anymore at all, barely. 
know what I'm saying? I really, actually, I don't. I don't even rest. I just do my own thing on Twitter or sometimes on Facebook. Barely on Facebook now because I ain't got my old friends trying to come at me about root for certain wrestlers. Well, too, or old Facebook friend that's not in groups coming at me though because like I told you, I had one of my good friends come at me for not wanting to root for Rio or Shaw because Rio the heel and Shaw's the face or anything. And it's like, it's like being a wrestling fan on social media is getting, it's like, starting to suck it's like sucking more and more than i mean to the point like this 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 was the beginning of why i wish wrestling would drop the whole alignment since make things so less stressful less conflicting and and less dilemmas as well too because there's a dilemma because i know i want to root for the black folks but unfortunately the black folks at the time is heels and i still stick by this saying if the day that they make every black wrestler a hill in either, uh, either a company or in general, that be a day I really will feel like I need to stop being a wrestling fan because it shows us how they feel about black uh, my, my uh, black folks and all that as well too. But yeah, that's my little story of how I almost was going to quit wrestling fans over the hurt business, not because of the faction hurt business faction, but stuff surrounding the hurt business with. Wrestling was uh, dumb at not saying dumb as with fans, fans, the misery love company, Edge Lord misery love company, watch lot get off of people misery fans, uh, Edge Lord fans who love bad guys or, or villains or, or fans or just petty folks in general who just like to fuck with people. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, I kind of still wish they do make a anti, make them anti-hero, baby, anti-hero faces. We say anti-hero faces because, like I said, it's folks, including folks in that group, in some of these groups that you put a certain Russian name next to baby face. It's like a bad taste in mouth. I still don't get it, but whatever, wherever though. Um, I'm trying not to say too much hard shit because I'm honestly, I'm, I'm seeing like I'm, I'm doing them their favorite and doing what they want and. And slipping to the dark side is not the case though. I'm just, you know, at time I'm sometimes tired of certain people shit. I'll say that. Certain people, not all. Maybe to, to save my to save to keep my face status for real. But that's the reason why I almost I almost quit being a wrestling fan. I'm still like teething tired with it as well too though, with the the, the bloodline little things making it worse. Not cause of bloodline, well a little bit because blah but but cause how folks are you know, treat me over, over as well too. Made a little post on my community about how folks make try to criminalize other folks for not rooting for the bad guy villains. Like, ha, like what sense does it make for folks to villainize another person for not rooting for the villain? It don't make sense at all. It's very fucking contradicting to me. It's like that's kind of shit that makes shit stressful for being being a rust. And the other body, I've been a fan of wrestling. For most of my life since young and, and I been a fan the way I had room for always room for the back the uh baby faces mostly the good guys were the anti-heroes or not anti-heroes or straight up heroes and um room for, for the room for baby faces and this is of any kind like I said when Austin was a heel I didn't root for him but I wanted to and when he turned when the doubles are happening I felt freedom as well too same with John Cena as well too. I felt freedom. Same with Roman the Shield at the time. With Roman Reigns time, I felt freedom. I'm saying, thing. This is how I am. This is how I always been. I wish people would just hopefully one day respect it. Don't try to change me. Make me feel like I'm I'm whatever for not go doing their ways. I mean, I'm saying they say they want people to like what they like. I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm liking what light like, is just liking the good guy and be, good guy and baby good guy the heroes the anti-heroes well too but me and, and but the baby faces of wrestling and that's what i'm doing and i was just want people i was wish people respecting or anything though but yeah just let my this um express myself and tell a story about how i almost wanted to quit wrestling fan over the her business um over the her business but other than that it's your boy t-bear signing off one love <laughs>